All right, Omega Ace. I got a video I'm going to make for you right now. I'm going to give you some beginner tips on how to use Sony Vegas. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to grab a video file. So here is my YouTube. Here is a video. We're going to go right here to share. You hit copy. What this does, it copies it to your clipboard. Now, from here, I launch a program called 4K Video Downloader. I hit the paste link. It's going to do something called parsing. Okay, great. And then right here, it says download video. And you have various options to choose from. It's going to tell you the size of the video. If, you, if it doesn't show the size of the video right here, that means there's a problem with the video. You're not going to be able to download it. So let's go for the highest quality. I'm going to show you some stuff. So here's high definition 1080p 60 FPS. If you wanted if you know you're going to do a lower end video, you know, you're going to do like let's say you're going to do a 720p 30 FPS, you can go with this option right here. But just just to show you, we're going to do the highest version possible. So we're going to hit download. So that's going to download in the background. All right, so when that finishes, we're going to go to our Sony Vegas. What it's probably going to do is load up your old project. So do this, just hit new. Do that. And what I recommend doing is just naming it. Just do a save as because you never know. Sometimes I've had random crash issues. So I just go one by one untitled. So I'm going to call this one untitled 127. And then from here on my left hand side, I go to my video section, 4K video downloader. So it's all classified by, I think, the name? Yeah. So what I just do right here is I go to, I move this here, last modified. I just classify it like that. And then I tap it again. And then here's today's date. And if it doesn't show up, then what you need to do is hit this refresh. There it is right here, controller test. So we're just going to drag and drop this down to the timeline like that. Do you want to set your project video to match the settings? I hit no. And then what I recommend doing first, every video clip you bring in, you want to right click on this right here, the audio. Go right here to switches. You want to normalize your audio. And if the audio is low, it's going to bring it up. If it's too loud, it's going to bring it down. The other thing I recommend doing is right clicking now on the video, go to properties, go right here to disable resample. All right. So we're going to go there. And then whatever you want to trim out. You see, I like to use this audio. It lets me know when there's silence and it lets me know in my videos when I'm talking or not. So right here, here's a gap. So let's say, for example, you want to cut out this dead air. So you can just put the marker right here. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out to get it precise. And then you hit the S button on your keyboard to do a split. And then you can do another S right here to split. And then you right click, delete, boom. And then it brings it together. If you want to do a transition, you can just bring it in like that. And it'll do like a fade transition. So let's play it right here. You hit it right here. And then I have my thumb on the space bar. And then you see it fades in. Or you can do a fancy transition. You can hit the transition button right here and there's a bunch to choose from. So if you want to do like, I don't know, slot machine, you just grab this and just throw it right there. And then you can customize it. So we're going to play it again. And then that's the preview window right there. It'll show you how it looks like. Okay, but let's not do that. And then let me also show you. Let's zoom out right here at the beginning. You can bring your cursor right up here and do a fade in effect like that. When it turns into this little symbol right here, it's a little tricky. Like that. That's a fade in effect. You can also do a fade out effect over here at the end. And then the audio, you have to do it to two if you want to do video and audio fade out. 
And that's pretty simple editing right there. Now, when you're ready to export, let's say you just want, you know, this first clip right here, right? What you can do is right here, you have to just highlight this right there. This is what you select. And then you go to file. Oh, make sure to hit save right there. And then we're going to do a render as. And then what I choose, I have a high quality render. And I can send you the video if you want to do the high the high quality stuff. If not, then just Internet HD 720 or Internet 1080 is good enough for YouTube. And you can go right here to customize it. So it's already set to six. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, 29, 30 frames. That's good. If you want to set it to 60, but for what your project is doing, I just recommend this standard setting. So we're, uh, it's by default, it's going to save to our desktop as Untitled 127. You can rename it to whatever else. But yeah, it's right here in Main Concept AVC MP4. This is the standard right here. So you just hit Render. Oh yeah, right here, Render Loop Region Only. Yeah, make sure that's checked. It's checked by default. Then you go ahead and hit Render. And then it's going to run through the process of uh, outputting this video. All right, so once it's done, you can just go ahead and preview it. And there it is right there. And as you can see, it's it's playing at 30 FPS. That's fine. Um, what I usually do, man, is I usually just sit on these. I'll move the, uh, the file to my phone, and I'll just go out somewhere. And then I'll randomly play it back, and I'll say, does this flow well? Does this feel good? You know, is, is the editing snappy? Do I lose attention? Do I get bored? Um, the other thing, there is a little button right here. This is to like zoom in and zoom out. So here's a timeline right here, 15 seconds. So if we put a marker right here, we hit the plus symbol. So at this mark right here, we can like just move this box and have it zoom in right and there's different settings you can do right here you can tinker with this to aspect ratio you can do a preset if you want a four to three aspect ratio like that so I will play it for you and I will show you so it's gonna zoom in on this box so the normal starting points right here and then it's gonna zoom in to that like that so let's hit this button to go back and then let's hit play and you see how it's zooming All right, <clears throat> so this button right here, these are like your filters and effects. So if you want to do like a black and white, Sony black and white, just click that, hit OK. Now it's in black and white. So I got other stuff. I mean, I got like, I got one right here. It's called Filter Packages, Amityville, Horror Movie, or no, Creepy Color. You can do that. Let's rewind. So it's like, it makes it look like a horror movie. It, it doesn't go well with the video game, but you, you got to do it on uh, on some real life people. But yeah, that's about it. That's all I can think of for this beginner tutorial. Maybe I'll make this public on my channel. Maybe I won't. If I do, I'm level one online. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe and go fuck yourself.